reading from 136, Psalms 136, chapter 13, or excuse me, verse 13. Praise the Lord who opens the Red Sea to make a path before them, for his loving kindness continues forever and led, and led them safely through, for his loving kindness continually is forever, but drowned Pharaoh's army in the sea, for his loving kindness to Israel continues forever. God is blessing you. He He led you through the Red Sea. He led us through life through the Red Sea. We have a Red Sea too. Life through our, he led us through to safety from our enemies. He drowned the Pharaoh, the armies of the Pharaoh in the sea for his loving kindness of to Israel is continued forever. So God has got you. He will continue to lead you from the enemies. The enemies will not overtake you. The enemies can't do anything to you because God's loving kindness is forever. God loves you unconditionally. He loves you. So praise the Lord who opens the Red Sea and makes a path before them. God is making a path before us. He said he would never leave us nor forsake us. So he is making a path in our lives from our enemies. So whatever you're going through today, whatever sickness that may be trying to get you down, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Well, whoever may be trying to come up against you or rise up against you, God is saying that he's leading you through the Red Sea. He's leading you through life. So that means that nothing can devour you. Nothing the enemy can't do anything. So when you begin to praise him, when you begin to praise the Lord God, when you are going through something, the enemy will flee. He can't stay around. He don't like praise. It hurts his ears. So when you begin to praise the Lord for everything that he's doing for you, for everything that he's going to do for you, the enemy will flee. He cannot stay around. He won't be able to take it. His ears, his ears will burn. He cannot do anything with when you praise the Lord. When you praise God, it confuses everything. It confuses the it confuses the enemy. It confuses the adversary. In the name of Jesus, God is leading you. He is leading you through whatever you're going through. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to know that you're coming out of that. You're not going to be in that situation for long. It's just a test or a trial. It's to make you stronger. It's to take you to the next season. God is blessing you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on and give God the praise. Come on and give God some shout. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name. In the name of Jesus, God is is doing some awesome things. God is working behind the scenes. God is everything. Hallelujah, Jesus. He will lead you. He will guide you. He will, if you trust in him, the Holy Spirit is leading and guiding you. When you rest, God is at work. And when you, and when God rests, you, that's when God makes us go forward to do what he called us to do in the name of Jesus. But we can't do nothing separated from God because without the vine, we are nothing. We, we must, in order to be, in order to bear good fruit, fruit. We must be connected to the vine in the name of Jesus. We can't do anything separated from the vine and God is working through us. So then God gets the praise and then people can see God on the inside. Give God the glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. If it wasn't for the hand of the Lord, we don't know where we would be. You might not be where you want to be, but thanks be to God, you're not where you used to be. God is bringing you through. He's taking you from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. Give God the shout. Give God the praise. Give God all you got in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You might be feeling down, but I guarantee you that when you begin to praise the Lord, that's when you start feeling good. That's when your body starts feeling healed. That's that's when you start feeling like you can do anything. You can shout. You can praise him. You start being peaceful. Peace starts coming all over your body. Joy starts coming all over you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Give God the praise. Be blessed in the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.